What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in this video I want to showcase Ark. It's a brand new relic that gives 12-12 to all your starting characters if you have one of each level. It's a unique new relic, it's probably more likely going to be seen in good boy comps or things that have ranged. I think it can work in slay comps with Chupacabra, Baba Yaga, Shadow Assassin, things like that. But in this case we use it on Miri and in a good comp and I think it works in good comps in general. So drop a like if you guys enjoy it. This was a fun use of the new treasure and I want to showcase these treasures so... Enjoy. Peace. Alright, Miri Sadrek Claus. Where's Pipe Piper? I put Pipe Piper in my title and I, I haven't had a single game. I put the Inca music playing because I'm not playing other music, so if I take it off, it would just be silence, which some people prefer, but I feel like it's better than silence to have some music, right? I could turn it down a little bit. Sadrak's okay. Let's do Miri. So if I get a Shadow Assassin on three, Sadrak can still do the same kind of toxic wall comp. And it, barring that, I think I got a good Sadrak game today earlier, but it wasn't really off the power of the hero power. I kind of felt like I didn't have a hero power. It was some stats here and there, but... For the most part, I don't like the new set. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to play Sadrek that much this patch. Nothing's wrong with in-game music. It's just a little repetitive, right? I think there's not that much variety. I, I forget when it starts looping, but it's for sure. All right, let's do this. Yeah, Shadow Session can do his thing on his own. If you get Bad Moon, so you can still do the same Sadrek stuff as last patch. You just need more, more luck, more timing. Like an early Shadow Assassin or a lucky Bad Moon. Which is better that way. It's better that you don't get to do Sadrek things so, so often. The problem with last patch was that it was able to do wall comp like pretty easily. It didn't take that much to get into that. Wall comp. Sure shot early. A couple baby roots. Yeah, it was absurd. It was absurd. Okay. So if we take Sky Castle and just imagine we're mirror. Okay, there's actually really good four drops. This is tough. Ringer Rage is great for Core Wizards and range in the back. Forking Rod is a favorite treasure of mine, but it doesn't do anything right now. And I just see Ring of Rage. I think Ring of Rage just makes a lot of sense. No, I guess the horn makes sense because I could buff an evil... I don't have an evil character. I think Ring of Rage is pretty good, though, for range in the bag, don't you think? Although horn is giving you a lot of gold as well. I'm going to take Ring of Rage and I'm going to have Core Wizards in the back. That's... It is the Econ Long Term, you're right. And the Econ Long Term is probably much worth it if you get it this early. Especially if it gets, um... Yeah, it probably is Horn there. Because you can get Potions, you can get... The Zero Attack Buff. This is nice though. Like, Ring of Rage of Tokens is quite nice. I think the Rod makes more sense if you have other treasures with it, but as a standalone, I think the Horn of the Ring of Rage is better as standalone treasures. The Rod... The Rod could be good, but it costs a lot of gold to make Rod do something, and I think it needs other treasures to start bouncing off of. Rod on its own is not as good as the other ones at this point. But the Rod has a lot of potential as well, though. I really like Ring of Rage of Range though. Because Ring of Rage affects the whole row now. So now, now Core Wizard is actually relevant in in, in the Miri comps. Because before Core Wizard was only before, but now it's 7 attack, which is great. But yeah, Forking Rod Masquerade Ball is insane. Just by itself. But yeah, like for instance, this, this one cost spell would be great, right? Like I could use Monsoon Horn to get a free unit if I win this. Or the potion that buffs to attack. Or the potion that heals. Or 
What's up, Alphamas? How you doing, buddy? I saw Dune, Alphamas. I really liked it. I know you recommended it. I, I, I liked it a lot. So thank you for recommending it. I want my range to attack first, so how do I how do I configure this? I think this is the best configuration I have. I mean, I could do this so that I get the slay. I said I saw a dude and I liked it. Yeah, so thank you for recommending it. Let's prioritize the slay then. It's a, I mean, attacking first with the range is probably just simply better always though, right? It's not the fact that it attacks, yeah, it might only attack once, but attacking first with this could make the difference. Yeah, I like I like what Mirror Morphic says. I'm gonna change that after this. I like what Mirror Morphic says. One in five I like the most. Oh, you said it too? I see, I see it now, Magus. I see it now. You said it as well. I see that. <laughs> okay. All right, we're in there. We also we got a random Romeo. Okay, Ogre Princess, I see you. All right, treasure map. Here it is, treasure map. All right, Tiantel Creeper is nuts. I'm sorry. I'm doing it. All right, so you want to do one in five, huh? This is what this is what we're feeling. But now I have now I have Tiantel Creeper. I feel more likely to do this. Let's go. All right, Miri's doing well. Fully stabilized. I think Ogre slays with 14, no problem. If Ogre doesn't slay with 14, we are in trouble. That would be a scary, scary proposition. I don't really watch YouTube, but if I watch YouTube, I'll watch like, uh, it depends on what, what my mind's, like I'll watch music or I'll watch like about a game that I'm interested in or, I watch a lot of various things. It's very spontaneous. Very spontaneous. Right, I'm very strong right now. Core Wizard's gonna be great. I can't wait to get Core Wizard. Right here, Core Wizard. Okay, Noble Steed for Nutcracker. Who wants to do it? That's very niche for a single Nutcracker. <laughs> I can take Stash, but I don't think I'm going to lose anytime soon. I can take Picky Bank, but I want to roll. Should I take this for Treasure Map? It's a bait, right? Speaking of Nutcracker... Do you guys think Riverwish makes sense here? Now, now, now you guys have the seed, huh? Now you guys, so I, I can buy Riverwish, which is eleven ten. I don't think Riverwish is such. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not the princess I really care about, but I could get some stats. Uh, fuck. You guys like mermaid, really? Mm. 
Now Donkey's a bait there. I want the ship uh, Nutcracker to go off ASAP. Our Nutcracker is only one away. That's perfect. We're, we're snowballing. That's what you get for taking five Piper. A Nutcracker is proc guaranteed. Is it worth it? Just to guarantee the proc? What else am I doing with my gold? You be taking Miri more on uh, Miri because it's not very contested. All right, hear me out, guys. Soul Attack with Heartwood Elder, massive bait. I have Nutcracker, Heartwood Elder, Soul Attack, which is not what Miri wants to do at all. So let's not get baited. All right, let's get baited again. So we have heart. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's just roll for like the Royals. It is better, just not with what's going on right now. All right, let's get out of the good the witch. And now we have a big court wizard. It's time. What if I do this? Another. Wait, what if River Witch buffs itself? <laughs> what is going on? So he's doing the three things that I was just about to do. And it's not Kirk So this is, the, this is the guy, you know, he's pretty strong. Probably going to see him in the top four for sure. I'll see him in the top four. He's got tree stuff going on. Why not buff the shirt? Because I want them to take advantage of... Okay. Sky Castle just has to be it, right? It just falls right in line with what I'm doing. It's like no-brainer. Alright, what do you guys think about Cinderella and its ability to proc in a reasonable time? Now I can buff Sure Shot. Now we can buff Sure Shot. We're getting, we're getting to the point where we're almost too strong. I need XP. Alright, this is a bait. Let's get out of here. Alright, Brave Princess? Uh, is it too late? It's pretty big. I ran out of Ogre Princess. It's a bait, bait princess. I have so many stats. I think at this point I gotta, gotta get rid of, I gotta get rid of this river wish at some point. And that's a 19 attack bait princess. Alright, that was a bait. For fuck's sake. Gotta got love getting 18 gold in one turn from buff triple wombat and the two uh, plus two gold dwarf. That's awesome, very best. The wombat's pretty cool. Alright, what character has to go? Because I, I want to get my gold here, so what character has to go right now? One of these things has to go. Although keeping this around could be good for late game. Just ignore the gold. All right. Isibo. How do you say your name? Isibo? You guys like Corner Karen? Is it Glove of Thieving? What's it going to be? Is it plus two? It's tough, I don't know. 
I like calling for good boy, but is it, does this want to go good boy at this point? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take runestones. Fuck. I gotta play faster. I gotta play faster here. Uh, is it worth taking runestones? But th th this is gonna proc to take runestones. Hmm. Body board is a bait for sure. Unless we want to do some slay stuff, I don't think we do. What is the end game for this cop? Are we out of uh, Tilto Quiver? The problem is Rooksos is probably going to buff Brave Princess and give me a 4 drop. So let's look for Lancelot. Coach Co is getting bad at this point. Alright, Lancelot into procs, right? Oh, it's one off. That's oh, a tier six. It's a tier six, and uh, and now this just gets to level six and. Wait, everybody's going to Royals. Oh, he got a break for, he got a Ogre Princess out of that. Since I don't have Arthur, I wonder what the, the end game is here. Without Arthur. All right, Ivory Owl is pretty sick. I'm very happy with this. Where, where, where do I go from here? I think we just get out of River Wish and into full ranged. I'm very happy with my board. Aeon Wizard is such a bait. <laughs> you really like Aeon Wizard, huh? I think it's such a bait, guys. You think this is gonna proc? I gotta get rid of something. I need to get Mimic now. I, I, I can't fuck around, I'm sorry. I gotta get rid of something. I don't think I want Romeo anymore. I want the chicken. I'm keeping Romeo, but it's like... Who, who needs Romeo? Fuck Romeo. Romeo's trash. Sorry, Romeo, I don't mean that. Everybody has Romeo and Juliet anyways. I'm happy I'm not contesting that. Wait, this, this Peter Pan's has a uh, Juliet. That's kind of cool. Hey, would you guys go good boy in this cop or you just kind of like just make really big royals? Arthur seems okay still, right? Is it too late for Arthur? It's like a second owl. But 
But the wizard's really good with the... Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. I think there's so many... Okay. Okay. But getting Cold Wizard to get Owl is really nice, though. Exactly, that's a good question, Vexpertine. It's, uh, like, where does Arthur go? Because Cold Wizard getting Owl is very sick. Maybe we can get rid of this once this procs. And now we have a, now we have Mimic. This, if this is a Mimic, I just Mimic and just win the game off of stats. The mermaid probably has to go. I think the mermaid is trying to give you some scaling, but having a buff owl ranged unit is much better. Especially against Bear Scene Echo Wood. Wow, wow, wow. This guy's a real comp. Pipe Piper is trying to stay alive. Go left. All right. Well, that was a good effort. I would like Mimic here. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna make a big board. I might even do Pigamorph to, to get these guys out of the game. Like, this might as well just Pigamorph, right? Get them out of the game. Now, Cobra wants to be back because that's gonna get a lot of stats. Oh, the Riverwish Mermaid is kind of huge. Okay, if I triple Arthur, then I can put Cobra back in. Okay, but well that's a Hercules. Jesus Christ. I guess I don't even need Hercules, but let's just say Hercules is better than this for right now. Because it is. Now we can do arc? Yeah, we can do arc. Mimic arc would be nuts. I have so many stats, I, I think I just win the game here. Coercion is better than Mermaid, but I I'll go for a little bit more stats on my sure shot here. But then I'm also losing stats on my Core Wizard. I should have picked one with this guy. This guy has got some stats. Might be top three here. Ah, uh, Herc's about to proc. Maybe we can get out of... So good boy is a bait, yeah? Good boy is... Getting Mimic Owl? Is it a bait? I can just put Quo Wizard in the back, double sure shot in the back, and then just like make a good boy get big. But our stats are so much bigger than it. I can get rid of the Arthur, put three range in the back, and put Corvus in the back as well. And this is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. And then the following turn is going to be a 12-12. Twelve, twelve. And you guys are saying this is better. Yeah, but I think if we're gonna keep Corsair around, we wanna get we wanna get Mimic Owl on it, right? If we're gonna keep it around. It's like I can't do Arthur and also get Mimic Owl on Court Wizard. Uh, Court Wizard doesn't even survive doing breath. The Arthur's get the mirrors give me two two. I mean yeah, maybe I just get out of mermaid. That's probably true, but it, it is so fat on its own. I think I win the game here, by the way, guys. All right, we got Ark. 
So I need two drop, six drop, five drop, four drop. I need a three drop. Holy shit! What a board! I can put Romeo and Juliet. Should I buy it? I'm doing it. Let's get Romeo and Juliet. Dude, the stats are nuts. Alright, it's definitely this over that. Let's be realistic here. It's probably double co wizard over Arthur. Let's do it. Rogue Juliet could be fun as well. Ark, Ark is a pick in this situation because we have Nimic, Ark, or Owl. So the stats are just nuts. No, I need the three drop. Question is important. She's my only three drop for the arc. So I need I need the I need I need a three drop. It's either her or Romeo. That's a screenshot right there. Random spoken maybe switch characters. Oh, you're totally true. Skizza. Uh, Skizza? Sa? You're, I, that would have been really bad. I could have slipped out of characters. That would have been really bad. I, I should be careful with that. All right, GG. I'm going to screenshot that one. That's a beautiful final screen. Put that in highlights real quick.